These are all outdoor plants, but if you have enough lighting, you can get them. So we're gonna go back to the indoor plants. I see these plants right here. So something like this wouldn't be good because we have to put our heat bulb on the lizard. To put a heat bulb on this plant, we would just kill the leaves. But if we move over to this one right here, imagine we clamped a heat lamp somewhere onto here. All right, this is perfect to go at the bottom. We can put the plant inside and we can put some soil around it and insects can live in here. We're gonna take our soil and we're gonna fill it up in here. This is the area that your lizards are gonna hunt. I'm gonna just dump it in. And we don't want it too high though. So our crickets, if you decide to put crickets in here, they can't hop out. So we want the hot spot to be right here. So we're gonna mount this. In a shot so you guys can see. This would be the heat spot right here. It's exactly how you want it. And then they're gonna hunt down there. But I like this clamp lamp because the material that they use for this, screws can go right through. So if you have somewhere that you wanna put it, it's easy to put a screw through. So I'm gonna put an extra one in here just to make sure it locks in place. Cause one, it's easy to move around. Watch how it goes right through easily. Perfect. This is gonna stay in place for sure. It's in position. We wanna get this, so know that the lizards are gonna be attracted to the greenery. So if you have other plants in your room, you're gonna to have to watch out because if they get tired of this area, they'll move to another plant. But if you have your plants in one location, they're gonna stay in this plant. But the thing is, they're gonna hunt. But look how high this is. So we wanna make it where when they drop down to eat, they always have access to get back up to where they wanna go into the plant. If you have an adult and all, it can make this jump from here to here, but just in case your pot is bigger, you wanna use something green. You can use the Exoterra fake plants, a real plant, whatever, and you wanna plant it around. The purpose of this is so when they come down, they always have access to get back up. So they can use these plants to come up here and then hop here. Later in this video, we're gonna bring some of Noles over here and we'll just turn the camera on and we'll let you see what they do naturally. We're not gonna bother them. We'll just let them naturally do it and you'll see that this really works. I've had a Noles in a plant in my room for over a year and they stayed there the entire time, never got out the plant. Now, they'll have a way to get up. Let's plug up our light and see what it looks like with the light on. The light always makes it look way better. All right, let's turn on our light. Yeah, that looks nice. If you have something green along this edge right here, then they'll be attracted to that greenery. They'll hop onto it and then go right back up. This is a younger male, he's not dominant, he's not submissive, he kinda just comes over here whenever Baratheon isn't over here, and we have an order for a male. All the Anoles living in this area, they bask up here, and in order to eat, they have to jump down, and if you look down here, there's mealworms. So, they're already trained to come down to the bottom of plants in order to get their food. Sees the mealworm. Their instinct is to climb up and know that if there were green leaves right here, he would be jumping onto the green leaves.
he was able to do it. He can go anywhere in this room, you guys. Look where he chooses to go. We're gonna set it right here. Look how far away it is, and we'll just leave it. This is why I say, imagine if we had the exoterra leaves or any type of fake leaves right there. That and all would have been able to grab on. Now watch this, you guys. I'm gonna grab something. Oh look, she got up there. So you guys can see that this really works. Misting is the most important part with the Noah lizards. So I'll just take this and from the top, just mist down onto it. And you wanna make sure you actually mist your lizards too. You want the water to hit them, not just the leaves. And we're gonna get all of our leaves. Even if you had the fake exoterra plants down here, you can mist on top of them. And I'm not saying that we can just grab any lizard and put it in your room and then it'll stay here because most lizards, they wouldn't do this. They would go somewhere else, they would wanna hide. But green anole specifically, even if you look at them in the wild, they stay out in the open even when humans are around. It's been about an hour and a half to two hours since I turned off the camera and let them chill. And we already have one down here, he's looking to hunt. And then up top, we have the two others basking. At the bottom, you guys could have crickets. Crickets wouldn't be able to get out of here. And I wouldn't recommend leaving a whole bunch of insects in the bottom either. I put way too many. You only want a few so that it takes them time to catch them and they can't just drop down and grab two or three of them at once and be done eating for the day. You want them kind of looking to eat throughout the entire day.